Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget for Crafting on a Budget store on dot com. I don't think you thought you were going to see me again, but I actually did make one last project and I didn't do it on camera because it's super easy, but I did want to give you the measurements and show you in case well, I know you'll have scraps from any paper line that you use. We use so much paper between all of the projects that we did. Um, but what I like to do is at the end of my project, I, I get a like a little plastic container. Uh, it doesn't have to be, it, it's whatever size you guys like. Um, I got this one. Let me see. It's loaded with stuff, but let me show you. I'm always reorganizing. Um, but this is kind of what I use. This is just from the Dollar Tree. It's a, it's like a paper holder. It's the Essentials Basket, it's called. Um, and they come in different colors. I never even took the tag off mine. But what I do is throughout my project, instead of throwing out my scraps, I throw them in here. And then when I'm getting all done with whatever I've worked on, which we did do six projects um, for Halloween, then I go back and I look through and see what's salvageable, what I can use, um, what, what could I do with the rest of the stuff that I have. Now, I have three witches hat charms and I am not going to... Um, be using those i'll wait for next year because those are just too cute to just you know randomly use i want to hold on to them but i did have some papers left but they were very small i had a lot of black paper left because we did a lot of stuff with black bases so what i decided to do was make this little mini box and it holds these teeny tiny three by three cards nothing special but look at how stinking cute these are and all this was done guys i mean like you can even see here this is a little not as rounded because the pa paper i had left wasn't round enough to go into the punch but i still wanted to use it so i utilized every scrap i had i just kept cutting and using my punches if you don't have punches you can still you know cut circles use a like a mug for your base or whatever and just trace around and then i have a couple more pieces left and another little mini cord and i thought i would make a little box to hold them so for those of you wanting to know about these little cute things which i just love I use two punches from EK Success. Now, I don't know if Meg can order these or not. I would ask her because I don't think she's, uh, I don't know if she's stocking punches or not. I didn't check, but she may be able to get these for you. These two I use more than anything else because I absolutely love this layered look of just, it's so simple, but it's so cute and when you use your little foam dots it just looks adorable now this one i didn't even i didn't even put a layer to i just wanted to use her um so anyway if you're wanting these this is ek success and i love that they fold down but for those of you who've never used them before you just push this open and it then allows you to use them they cut really really good i my goal is one day to have like every size of these um but you know the circles and the scallops because i really really like them but you have to wait for them to go on sale and um but anyway the scallop is a two and a quarter and the actual circle is one and a half so if you're wanting to duplicate this those are the two punches that you would need you may even have a die that does that i don't know um what's in your stash but that's what that is so let me just give you some measurements the cards are three by six and you literally score them in half the mats for the cards are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths i like it 
really close to the edge when I'm making little cards. So I didn't want that much of a, a space showing, but if you have smaller scraps, you can do it smaller. So that's what I did for the um, cards. For the box, the box, this box itself, and let's see how many cards it holds before you, because you might have to adjust it depending on how many cards you make. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 lucky 13 so 13 cards maybe 14 would fit nicely in here and then my extra pieces that i had cut out i i don't have any more black scraps left but i might from another project so if i do i'll go back in and make a few more cards but these i just i'm going to keep back here so i just made a really easy it's basically like a box lid, like what we did for our triple layer explosion box. It's just the dimensions are different. So if you watch that video of how to make the lid, all you're doing is flipping it the opposite way to make it a box. Um, this box in particular measures seven and a quarter wide by seven and a half long. And I scored two inches on all the sides. And then, of course, I put it together like we did. If you if you need a reference, go back to the explosion box, triple explosion box tutorial, and you'll see how to, to make those. And it's just the same. You just flip it the opposite way. And then if you want to put mats, which I did, around the box, you need two, three and an eighth by one and seven eighth for the front and the back. And then the sides, as you can see, my sides don't match because I, I ran out of paper. Um, but the sides are three and three eighths by one and seven eighths. So this is just a, a great way to utilize your scraps because these pieces, honestly, there wasn't enough for me to make another book or another accordion or you know there just wasn't enough i mean i have a couple flowers left i have three witches hats left and i have a couple of journaling cards left and that's it but i do like to use all of what i am given i think it's really important when you are designing for somebody if they are generous enough to send you something you should be using it all and not you know having you know much leftovers and that's why i came back on i i was like oh my gosh i can't believe i just said i'm done and, and then i'm not done um but i did want to show you kind of what i do after every project because i don't like to have paper laying around that has really not much to go with it i don't like to have like you know like three sheets of a paper line and two journaling cards you know first of all where am i going to store all of this paper and second of all what am i going to make with it so i like to to you know utilize every single piece i know my daughter will love this um you know she can give them out if she wants to or she could just keep them i mean knowing her she'll probably want to keep it just like that because she's like me i like to keep i don't it's so funny i don't use my crafts or you know put pictures in the albums and we are going to be making an album next that's our next big project so it's going to um, we're going to use all our paper from the minte collection which i'm excited about and then the only other thing I wanted to show you is I just happen to have this notebook and it's a good idea to keep notes if you like projects or you like a certain thing. And because I'm putting everything on sticky notes for you guys, all I'm doing is sticking them right back in my journal and, you know, just labeling what I did and putting the notes in there. I may have to glue them down at one point. But, you know, right now I'm just going to put mini cards with box. I just like to keep things organized. And I like to have the information 
in case I want to make it again. You know, I mean, there's a lot of projects that we did that I will make again for Christmas. I may not make them, you know, live, um, but I will make them again. So, you know, this is just how I do my scraps. And I thought it would be just interesting to give you a little idea. Um, these would be cute if you were doing a swap to send some of these to somebody. These would be cute in our loaded envelope, although I don't know if I can put anything else in it. It's so loaded. But I just wanted to give you, like, you know, kind of like a rundown of how I utilize the rest of my paper. You know, because really one sheet of a paper line, you know, what's that going to do for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to make with that? You know, um, so I, I just like to use every single piece and that's what I've done. And I just wanted to hop on and show you. I think it's super cute. This was super easy to make. I mean, I literally just sat here and, you know, cut my you know, punched all my stuff out and, you know, looked and I, I noticed that I had a lot of black paper left because we were constantly cutting paper for the accordion book, for the mini book. We used black a lot in this collection for the base because I really wanted to use the pattern pages, you know, for the pages of everything and the components. Um, so we used a lot of pattern paper but I had a lot of black paper, just scraps left. And it just so happened that a lot of them were three inches. Um, and so I said, let me make a cute little card, you know, little mini cards, because I always punch stuff out. I'll put them in a bag or something. If I have extra paper, I will do these little punch things. I like them for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just, I just love them. So, you know, uh, I do a lot of these little, little punchy things if I have just a little bit left. But since I saw I had a little bit more, I said, you know what? I don't think May is going to mind if I pop back on with another video and just show you guys this. And I wanted to wish you a happy Halloween if you celebrate it. And I wanted to say a big thank you to Young Sue because she is so awesome about putting my videos in the groups, letting you know when they're up, putting the links to the paper I'm using. I mean, she is like so fabulous because it really saves me time so that I can just focus on creating because there's a lot to it, you know, especially, you know, when you're, you're doing a, a series of projects you know, it, it takes a lot. There's a lot of thought that goes behind it. And so I really appreciate her doing that. And I just really want to encourage you to go to craftingonabudgetstore.com and, you know, give me some support. You know, any, any kind of purchase you make, whether it's big or small, helps a small business and provides for her family. And I'm all about, you know, local shopping, you know, for Christmas. I'm not a big box store kind of a person. Um, I love, you know, going to craft shows, except, you know, they really aren't happening because of COVID, but I love to support small business. And, you know, when you support small business, you're, you know, you're supporting their family, their workers. I mean, you know, if they, if they have a few workers, you're supporting somebody's livelihood. So think of it as that, you know, everybody can go to, to a big, you know, scrapbook.com or something. And I'm not saying don't go to those places, but I'm saying, you know, they're not putting out all of these tutorials. They're not giving you instructions. You know, they may show you a few projects, but they're not doing what we're doing. And what we're trying to do is give you an experience and to teach you something and to hopefully entertain you a little bit and to let you have a good time and sit back and relax and maybe just, you know, you had a bad day and you come home and you click on the link and there's a there's a cute little project waiting for you to see. And so I just, you know, encourage you to buy from 
you know, small businesses, because it really is important. And no, no amount is too small because it still helps them. I mean, you could say, you know what, I can only afford, you know, $10 or, or whatever it is. Every little bit helps a small business. And May is so generous and she has, you know, put out so much time, effort, energy, and above all money to get the scrapbook papers in to get the molds in to get to make it a one-stop shopping and it's a huge investment and yes she does have a, a storefront but right now she's trying to you know get the website up and running get her pos system going and and so there's a lot of moving factors when you first open up a store and especially one this size with the amount of SKUs that she has because she has so much stuff. And yes, that's my talking house, as you guys should remember. Um, but anyway, I would just encourage you to, you know, support her, support her business. Other ways to support are to like the videos, comment on the videos, share the videos. These are all ways that you can help use. Um, you know your your platform to help promote hers and that's what i'm trying to do here i was never going to come back to crafting i was never going to i was never going to do tutorials ever again and the only part like i said i would only ever do it for one person and that was may <laughs> and you know the timing was right and it worked out and i am having the time of my life i hope that you guys are enjoying these projects and you know I, I just hope you're having fun with them I hope you like them and again don't just think of the product this is now seven projects we've done for Halloween don't just think of them for Halloween think of them for every holiday because this can be made into every single holiday so with that guys I will say hop on over to the craftingonabudgetstore.com start ordering some stuff holiday stuff up because that's what we're going to be doing next and if you didn't get this line there may still be some left I would get it save it for next year because you're not going to find another line like this again with the shabby chic um, you know tilt to it you're just not going to find that and also uh, make sure to be a member of our Facebook group which is crafting on a budget on Facebook and I know that you know you have to answer a couple questions and then um, young Sue or, or me or May or any of the admins will let you in so you can see what everybody else is working on and all of the wonderful creations that are up there and I just want to thank you for your support I want to thank all of you for your comments, your likes, your your such sweet responses to me coming back and doing this. I, you know, was a little nervous. And now that I'm back in the swing of it, it's kind of like riding a bike. You know, I'm kind of, you know, took me a little bit, you know, but now I'm, I'm, I'm back in the groove. I think I got my camera working better. And, uh, you know, I just want to tell you all thank you. And with that, you know what I will say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.